Hey, Andy back here. Um, it's a little bit in the afternoon. Didn't get, make it to the gym. I'm going to just add another segment here because I realized that I had left this 5 out on the diagram. And that I had to fix. And I wanted to get that on the video. Uh, it is important if you're looking at the C shape. And of course, I don't want to be rambling on about all nine aminos and all that stuff and weather. So I realized we lost some critical time there because these are only 10 minute segments with the freeware. So here is uh, the C shape here. 356R2356. And I, I can actually play this on the piano. And uh, remember, this is a flat instrument, so it's going to be two, two whole steps down from what your guitar would play it as. Um, if you wanted to be really crazy, you could capo, you could capo the, uh, the root and play the whole thing up one octave. But that, uh, and that would work. But it's up there. You know, the higher it is, the, the, the more difficult it is to play, the more difficult, I mean, except for they're closer together. And uh, it's harder to tell things apart. You want to do them where you can pretty much, um, in the middle zone, where you hear tonalities, tonalities. So if I go three, four, five, it's like. Wait a minute, three, four, five. Oh yeah, we're doing diatonic. Okay, <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be pentatonic. Okay, so there, that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, R. Okay. It's a, it's a basically a C pattern, and done in C. Um, so right there, this is what the D from the third string renders to. So here, uh, renders to, actually it's an A. It says D from the third string renders to an A. Um, that is, uh, there's something going on there. Oh yeah, D from the third string. See, this is the C column, this is the D column. All right, so um, my wife's just coming in from the rain. It's been raining for two days. Um, this it's big weather system there, going on. It's not raining hard now. Now it's like that light misty rain. It's not raining hard. It's supposed to rain again at hard, I think, at 5 o'clock. Is it? Well, yeah. It was, it was starting. To, I went out there and suddenly it was like misty rain started. Okay, so let me get this uh, uh, video going here. So we'll try to do maybe a little more playing. I'm not sure. So how we do it in, in how we do it in retrospect how I generate the entire fretboard okay I think she's talking are you talking to the cockatiels there or? <laughs> yeah. so um, I can't go as as high as them we have the we have the uh, the C shape here remember I was talking about the C shape we have the C shape here the D shape here starting from the first string and these guys are the base the baseline for the the seven L pattern K D and the C if we start the same thing going over here is a perfect fourth so it's the same note start the same thing from from the second string all right it goes up this one would go up a D as a D two three five six R2 okay but it hits the warp early there so uh, instead of the D taking the normal two three five six R2 and then dipping down going into the S2L all right which was a, is a stack of two long and then and then out of the warp it come it, it warps up this one warps back to a normal it's not going to do that when you started from the second string so it changes the shape and it changes the shape to a G all right so we go two three five six R two that's pretty much our stack of threes the only place to go from there is this if the only place to go from there after a stack of three is a stack of two long okay and it justifies over 
So we go to the um, blah, blah, blah. we are we are we're going to go over, but it warps over the other way, right? So it's straight up, and believe it or not, so we finish with the stack of too long, and I'll tell you, I'll show you how it sounds the same. Okay, so down here. Sounds the same as. So I had to kind of slide up that string because we ran out of, we ran out of strings. So we got got to go horizontally. That's a good thing to know, and it's a whole step apart. And any time I can explain something or, or, or prove it to you to show you that the things are a whole step apart because it's an interval say from this um, this three to this five is a whole step excuse me it's a, it's a step and a half a whole step is the long one the two to the three is a whole step okay because um, a straight up is a fourth okay this is a perfect third a minor third a whole step half step is like five of them away and then the same note itself is six of them away okay so there's six of them away right there six frets me makes a perfect fourth okay Counting the first fret, fret is one. Now these fret, this fret is fret zero on the guitar. But when we're doing intervals on the piano, from here to here we go one. Okay, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Those are counting half steps. So anyway, what we've done, what we did is we we started the D shape from the two, okay? We didn't have to warp. We didn't have to warp uh, anything yet. Now it had to warp and it warped into, believe it or not, a G shape because the G shape starts on the sixth, okay? So you can, all, you, of course you can see that it's gonna be a G shape knowing it starts on the sixth. For instance, if I start the D shape from the third string, okay? So the D shape's gonna start on the two, right? I'd show you that uh, I'd show you that uh, in the diagram, but we want to move move forward on this instead of go find the other diagram. Infinite review all the way down to A, B, C. You know uh, what? You know the very basic. We can't keep taking it back that far, but I'd like to. I'd like to. Um, here from the third. All right, I can just look down in the first string. See, it's a three and realize, hey, guess what? That is, uh, whoops, we went in the wrong direction. That's strange. We'll have to use folder because we want to get back to where we were. Um, where is it? Here, here's, here's our shape. So the G shape starts on the six. Okay, that, that you can tell from the G shape pentatonic or diatonic. This is a diatonic. Here's G shape pentatonic. There's there's a little six there, okay? And here's a stack of three short and a stack of two long. That's all it's going to be. You see them marching in. Well, this one's marching down. Here's a stack of two long. Now it's it's this. Okay, so that's the basic 7L pattern, all right? Which uh, I don't have the, uh, here it is, the basic 7L pattern, okay? Which is, And we're going to end it now, so... Um, there it is, and they march on down, they march on down and disappear. Okay, so let's see if we can find where we were before. And we've got about 30 seconds. I don't know if we're going to get back to where we were before. Um, but I want to. And I don't want to have to necessarily start another segment. Okay, here... Here is where we almost were. Here, here is where we're going to start one more segment. Okay, so it's going to be a six-parter. <laughs> 